Hi guys, in this lesson I wanted to show you how to install Laragon, a software that allows us to have a whole development environment with Apache, PHP, MySQL and other instruments and tools for web development. On the Laragon website, we can do the download of Laragon and here there are different options. There's Laragon full with Apache, NGX, MySQL, PHP 7.2, then we'll see how to install other versions. It also has Node.js, NPM, a lot of software for development with PHP and Node.js. Laragon Lite, if you don't want to install Node.js, NPM, Yard, Git, you can download this one. And then there's also the portable version, but I wouldn't recommend this one. I would recommend this one because you need it also for front-end development and you'll need to download these software. So you save the file. Wait a few seconds, and then once you open Argon, there's this installation setup. You decide the language, and then you choose the folder where you want to install Argon. So I'm going to put it in another folder since I already have it installed. Then here, if you want to run Largon when Windows starts, if you want to create virtual hosts, and if you want to add notepad++ and the terminal when you do the right click to a document, I'm going to select everything. You can see it's installing Git and all the other programs that already come included with Laragon. The installation is finished now, so we're going to select run Laragon in order to launch Laragon so we can see the configurations. You can see already here that there's the icon for Laragon. Clicking on start all, it'll launch Apache and MySQL. And you can see where it says that there's going to be the folder with the database for MySQL. In my case, it's going to be in the D disk. If, for example, you have another Apache that you've installed MySQL, maybe with Sampo or something else, you can go here into configurations. And here you can see that in auto virtual host, it'll create for your websites under this folder or you can change it if you already have a folder with the projects, you can select it here. And it will generate automatically these domain names. You need to execute, however, Largon as administrator so that it can add these virtual hosts in your file hosts of configuration in your host files. Here you can launch that it starts all automatically, Apache MySQL. And then if you have some conflicts with the ports, so for example, here in my case, mine started with the default 80 and MySQL 3306. So if you have another Apache or another MySQL, you can go into the console for SAMP, disable them, remove that they don't start up automatically and only use Laragon. Otherwise, you can here change the port, put for example, 8000 and MySQL at 3307. But then when you do the MySQL connection, you need to change the number of the port. I don't know if you use PHP or the line of command. So I'm going to leave the default ones because there's no other systems installed. So returning here, in general, you can see the different options, the ports that we can change. I'm going to leave the 80. If we want to enable SSL, we can say yes. And then here's the configuration for Postgre if we want to use that, NG NGINX, Memcached. But if you don't use these, you don't need to change it. Then if there's mail catcher so that when you send email with PHP, this program will catch it automatically. And here you can connect your Gmail to use Gmail as a server of set for sending mails. I've tried it, but Gmail always blocks my requests. Once you launch the services with Sorol, if they haven't been launched, you can see here that they've already been launched. If you click on web, it'll open localhost and it says that Largon is there. So this means that the server is working. We go on to Largon again and here in the icon, we can do right click and we have a lot of options. Let's start going here, for example, into database. And it'll automatically open this little program called Heidi SQL, which is very easy. You can create different connections. So generally the password for MySQL is empty. Root is empty. And then if you've changed the port previously, as I've shown you, here you need to change the number of the port. So if you click open, 
you can see that we access MySQL. You can do everything from here. So for example, we can do right click, new, database. And let's suppose that we want to create the database, my diary. So here, generally, as a local, we use UTF-8 general CI. With this, we can support accented characters and other systems of characters for other languages. So clicking OK, we have our database, my diary. From here, we can do right click, for example, on the database, but then we'll see it in the section of MySQL. You can do new table, put the name of the table, for example, test, and do add a column. Here I can put ID, I can say it's unsigned, I can fill it with zero or not. I can also say if it's auto increment or not, let's see if it's here. Then here, for example, on indices, we can do right click and create a new indices and create and say this is the primary key. We can save it. And here where it says predefined, we can put instead of null, we can do auto increment if we want to do an auto increment key. But as I said, we can see this in the part of MySQL. We can put name of the type text or varchar, the length do save and then here we have our table we can go onto the tab for da data and we can insert some data here clicking on plus we can put a line i can put idran as a name and i confirm with the tick here and then if i go into query we're going to execute query so for example select from test and then if we execute it here you can see that we have our selection so there's loads of other options. For example, you can explore here, do right click, the drop of the table, eliminate it and so on. So this is really useful to have this program MySQL. So if we continue looking here at other things, we have the terminal. So if we launch the terminal, for example, we can use the command for Linux. So for example, CD LS minus L minus AL because it has command similar to Linux, we can launch MySQL, for example, connect to MySQL minus U root minus P. We have the password, press enter. And here you can see that we're on MySQL. I'm going to increase the font a little bit. We can do show database. And you can see here I had an error because it's databases. And then you can see that there's the database that we have created my diary. We click exit to leave, clear to clean. And then here, if we cl click on root, we have the folder where we have Laragon. Clicking here on the H and on menu, we can have an access to the same thing that we can see here from the taskbar. Doing right click, we have the same options that we have here. We have the possibility of the database root and modify the configuration of Laravel, of Laragon. And in Quick App, we can, for example, install WordPress directly. So let's do it so you can see how to do it. So for example, the project, I'm gonna call it my blog, and then it's gonna download WordPress. It's gonna put it under the folder www. And then as a URL, it'll put myblog.test. Here, we're gonna give the possibility here. It appears as visit site. And we're going to open the page where it's created the blog. If the URL doesn't open, what happens that you need, you need to launch. If you haven't launched Laragon as administrator, then this URL won't appear. You can also do localhost and the name of the folder that you've decided. So the name of the project in that case to add this website directly to the host file on windows, you just need to open notepad execute it as administrator so that you can do the modification to the host file. Then you go on to Windows, System32, Drivers, etc. And then here as a document type, you put all files and you open hosts, the file host. 
And then under here, under 127.001, you need to have the name of the blog. So for example, I have my blog test. If you create another project, let's suppose that it's called secret diary. And so you've called it dot test. Then you add it here. Largon will have created the virtual server under Apache, but if you see that it doesn't work, that the URL doesn't work, and it's not installed on the host file, you can save it in here. Okay, I won't show you the part of WordPress because we'll see it later on. But if we put my blog, username, I'm going to put Edran, password, I'm going to put test, 23, a fake email, but I would just recommend obviously putting your own so that you can receive your settings of the website. Then you just click install because if you go onto Heidi SQL and you do right click update, you can see that Largon has already created the database for you, which is called my blog. And here it's going to install all the part, all the um, WordPress part. So you can see here that's already there. And here you just need to put your login and the name and the mail you have put in on your password. So this is how to create an app directly from Largon. You can see here you don't have to just install WordPress. You also have Drupal, eh, Laravel. Don't use Laravel zip because it didn't work properly, etc. And then you can configure also the URL to do the quick app. Then we have PHP and we can modify the settings of PHP. So for example, to modify Xdebug, the max of loading, we can op you can open a PHP file to do the configuration here, etc. So the whole part where I explain how to configure PHP, you just need to open this file here. Then in PHP, we can also change, we can activate the extensions from here. So for example, curl, File info GD2, which are the most commonly used ones. MySQL I to 